In case you didn't know, today is Detroit style pizza day. So it's a day to celebrate the best pizza around and you know the square pan pies with the crispy mm -hmm. cheesy crust plus a racing stripe of that little secret sauce. Oh, so good. But what you might not know is some of the original pizza joints around town are all connected. This morning we're taking a little tour of the Detroit style pizza history. These were the two doors that would enter in and this was the bar area. And in the 30s, it was a little restaurant called Fern's Lunch, and then later uh, it started serving Detroit style pizza in 1946. If Detroit style pizza were a religion, and many might argue it is, this would be its church. But he's on this corner, it's actually a legendary corner, Six and Conant. Uh, where it all began and it, it survived through a lot of difficult times. It was here in 1946 where Gus Guerra slid the first square pan pizza into an oven in Detroit. It was almost instantly a hit and over the next two decades many who cooked one would venture out to try and capitalize on the square pie with their own business. The birthplace is here. The different players all had a part to play but I always like to call this the original because when I started to this day, the processes, the methods, the recipes, we never departed. But Gus Guerra did. He bought the Cloverleaf Bar in 1953, and his recipe has been a staple there ever since. For many years, we tried to keep the recipe a secret. So I always like to call this our 77-year um, overnight success story. That's Gus's daughter, Marie Guerra Easterby. She calls it that because people are still finding Cloverleaf for the first time. And as for the explosion in popularity of Detroit style? I think of it as a great thing. Yeah. I think mom and dad would be happy. Uh, they would be proud. They'd be smiling. The pans are what started Detroit style pizza. And every, everything came after that. Now, Louis Pizza in Hazel Park is an interesting slice of the history here. Louis Tortois was one of the original chefs at Buddy's. He first left for Shields, and when he couldn't buy the place, he started his own business. For the last nine years, his grandson Nicholas has run the place that many declare is their favorite. Those are some smart people. We try really hard to put out the best products, and uh, when I took it over, I made a promise to myself and my late grandfather, and. Uh, made a promise I'd put everything into it, and then some. This is the two second owners right here. So from 1953 to 1970, you got Jimmy Bonacorsi and Jimmy Valenti. And then interestingly, this is their pizza chef. This is Louis Tertois, who owns Louis in Hazel Park. Karen Dipus wrote the book on Detroit-style pizza. No, she really did. A Doughtown History is out now, and it takes a close look at the three waves of Detroit-style pizza makers. It was a fusion of San Marino and Sicilian pizzas that led us to this unique square sauce on top innovation. The similarities between the brands are also no coincidence. I don't think people realize just how close of a family Detroit-style pizza is. Literally, you have either you know, people who are in-laws to each other, who are literal brothers and sisters, who have known each other since childhood. So there is a family feud occasionally, but it always comes back to they love and respect one another and ask each other to eat at each other's restaurants on a regular basis. So there's a lot of love between the original brands. It should always be honored as Detroit style. It's very unique and it really is about the, this particular city that we love. I think a Detroit style pizza day should have us all be united and happy and proud that this pizza has become so famous. Uh, there's the New York pizza, there's the Chicago pizza, and now there's a Detroit pizza. All right, Jason, so I know you did your research and she's talking about those three waves. What what exactly does she mean? Well, at the end there, you heard Mary talking about how it's become kind of internationally known. It's been so popular lately and that's kind of because of the second wave and third wave like Jets Pizza, like okay. the Jets brothers uh, grew up working in pizza. They started their own and they kind of took put their own spin on it. But yeah. then you have like Detroit style pizza company that was Sean Randazzo who worked at Cloverleaf growing up okay. and then started his own business. Sadly, he he passed away, so he's gone, but his wife and his mom carry on the business. He won this big award out in Las Vegas, and that kind of shot everything to the stratosphere. And then there's just so many other 
uh, pizza joints that sell it. That's why we have so many options now, which is pretty cool. Yeah. 